Defence staff and the Inspector General of Police in Night have denied allegations that they provide security aid for illegal mining sites and miners. The state said that they only provide protection for legitimate miners operating in uh, conflict affected areas upon uh, result request from the Ministry of Mines. They also stated that uh, they do not support illegal mining activities and are willing to collaborate with relevant agencies to stop them. Requests, legitimate requests, I repeat, legitimate requests are made for the military to give protection to legitimate miners that license has been issued to in conflict inflicted areas. Now, once we get such requests, what we normally do is we we'll write to the Ministry of Mines. Or in fact, we ask them to direct their letter to the Ministry of Mines. So if the Ministry of Mines requests us because of the nature of the environment, because of the uh, conflict, we do sometimes give protection to those people licensed by government to carry out mining activities from the uh, Ministry of Mines, based on request from the Ministry of Mines. I want to tell the line of the general. No responsible organization paid by the public will give anything that will dampen or sort of uh, jettison the wish of the people. The place, yes, we give guts to some individuals who we can establish are uh, under serious threat, especially in terrorism uh, infected areas. But from my own office, I'm being a very senior officer in the operations department. There is nothing to show that we protect any illegal mining sites or whatsoever. We don't do that. We don't do that. One, we have a procedure to even grant whatever, whoever we are going to grant any grant. And the procedure will be, we should know what you do for a living first. And you must be able to establish to us what are the reasons that makes you want personal guard? Because the police is supposed to give general service to the people. The committee chairman uh, uh, assured that efforts are being made to address the issue. I can appreciate the fact that we are making efforts to nip this thing in the bud that is becoming a cancer, becoming a monster. We're trying to nip it in the board so that we can enjoy the full economic potential that God has blessed us with. So speaking out there to the camera is actually to bring about hope. Especially at such a time in our nation where indeed we need hope because of the grueling economic conditions we're facing right now. So such interventions actually sell hope and reinforce the hope of our people that by God's special grace, we are doing the right thing and within the shortest possible time, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.